So I'm going to start with a flash fill. Let's open this file up. Now, let me maximize that. I know I'm still logged in as you on SkyDrive, but I don't think that would matter. OK, what we have here is we have an extract from this could be a, an employees table. Or it could have been extracted from some HR system. Um, what we've got is we've got an, an employees, first name, surname, middle initial. Uh, it's something I get asked quite a lot. I've got this information. It's been extracted from somewhere and I need to manipulate it in certain ways. So it could be, for example, I need to join together the Cynthia and the Dearman, or it could be that I need to take the first initial of the first name and join it together with the surname. And typically the way that you would do that is you'd probably use the concatenate function, which I've done in this case. So I've joined together uh, what's in A2 to a space, to what's in B2 to a full stop and a space, to what's in C2. So first of all, you need to know about that function. And for, uh, for kind of introduction level users, um, many people look at a function like that and are a little bit horrified by it. But even if you manage to get past the function and you put the function in, you've then got to copy the function down all those cells. And, uh, you know, the more formulas you have, the more functions you have in a spreadsheet, the bigger the spreadsheet is. So this is where uh, flash fill comes in useful. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete those. So if I was to type in, um, just do a simple example here, Cynthia. And I was to type in here Maria. In fact, as soon as I start typing in the M, what Excel has done is it's detected a pattern. And it thinks, ah, what you're trying to do is extract the values from the cell three to the left. And because that's what I want to do, I just press enter and it fills it in. And not only does it fill that one in, but it actually fills in all of the others. So that in, in essence is what flash fill is. I'm going to show you some more examples. But notice that what these are, these are text. These are not formulas. So these are text. So let me just delete that. I'll just show you a simple example first. And what I'll do now is I'll show you a bigger example. So I'll put uh, Cynthia R. Dearman. Press enter on that and start typing Maria. And you can see what happens. It actually picks up the pattern, picks up what I've been trying to do and automatically assumes that that's what I want to do. If I don't, I can actually just you know hit escape and say, no, I don't want to do that. If I now start typing again, I've typed the J of Joseph and because I hit escape, what it's done is it says, ah, oh, you don't want to do that, so I'm not going to continue the pattern. If I did want to do that, um, apart from spelling it correctly, what I'd actually have to do is delete the existing values and start it again. So Cynthia R, full stop, space, Dearman, and then come down, start typing, and it picks up a pattern and fills everything in for me. These, as I said, these are text entries, so it's not updatable. If I went over there and I changed that to Mike, it does not update the data in column D. But the great thing is that because these are static text entries, one, your file will be smaller, and two, if I wanted to copy those over the top of those. I can just do a copy and paste. I don't have to mess around with the paste special values and, and then deleting the old stuff as you'd have to do in the current version. If I go over to, to Flash Fill 2, um, this is a, a similar example. Okay, I'm going to delete those values there because this is the, here's one I prepared earlier. Delete those values there. And if I go over to here, type in 32 and type in 98. In fact, I started, 
you've got to be careful that you as i said if you type 98 and press enter it doesn't fill the rest in so i've typed 98 and it's detected the pattern so it's actually picked out the house number for me if i go over here and port simone while avenue and then start typing wood lane picks up the rest for me over here i'm sure you can work out what i'm going to do now but if i put in uh, ox18 and then h picks up the first part of the postcode and 6yj8 picks up the second part of the postcode as I said, if you didn't want that, then you just hit escape and it doesn't fill it in for you. But, you know, in, in many cases, you will want that. In some cases, you won't. It's, it's a case of use the right tool for the right job. And this is one great tool which will save you a lot of time if that's the job that you want to do. And so many times I, I have to do something like that. I get somebody gives me a list and says, can you manipulate this list? Can you split the house number in the street or can you can you split the postcode um, up into two sections? If I go over to flash fill three, what I'm going to do here is just pick out the year of the date of birth. So 1980. I could have put a formula in, but, um, you know, putting in a formula would then have meant I'd have to copy it down. So let's put in 1980. As soon as I start typing, it picks up the 1954 and fills in the rest. Now, very often what we do is we convert a date into what we call a sortable string of numbers. So this one would be uh, 1980-06-15. And so if I start typing in there, 1954-04-16. It hasn't picked up the pattern, but what I can do is go up to here and choose Fill and Flash Fill. And now it's automatically filled everything in for me. So that's something that we do a lot um, when, it, when, when we do programming because it, uh, it allows us to sort dates based on a, um, a, a string, as it were. So you, you can do lots and lots of different things with Flash Fill. Just having a look at the question, what would have happened if instead of typing the first entry, you simply paste it and then continue typing? So if I had pasted in the 1980, is that what you're saying? And then continue typing, continue typing in the same cell or continue typing in a different cell. If you mean doing it this way, I'm guessing yeah, you can do it that way. If that's what you meant, uh, Engelbert, you can paste in the first value. Um, and then as long as you, you type in the second value, in fact, you don't even need to type in the second value. If I uh, paste in Dearman, and then I do fill, flash fill, it does it as well. So yes, you could do that as well. So that is Flash Fill. That is a great new tool um, for Excel. Mm -hmm.